Hi, it's me again with Corolla Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody's having trouble um, tracing this. It's pretty clear, but I can see his problem. So he sent it to me in this huge file. I'm going to go ahead and reduce it in size. I think it actually helps Corel trace it. And then if you look, there's a lot of, I'm going to call it picture we don't need. So with it selected, grab your crop tool and crop out as much as you can and then hit crop and you've got less to, for Corel to deal with. Then I'm just going to go to trace bitmap outline trace clip art. He did tell me he's going to cut this out on a plasma table and I'll, I'll show you the things that are wrong. And if you look, if you look at it when we're moving it, there are some gray matter and some bad parts and we need to get rid of those gray matter. So first of all, I want to get rid of the light gray matter. So I'm going to try this. I'm going to go to edit, find and replace. I'm going to click on that. I need to break it apart. Ungroup it. Click on that and go from selection and hit find all and then hit delete. And it got rid of all the gray matter. And if we look, the light gray matter. And if we go yellow box trick, object, order, back a page, you can see everything is pretty much done except for this trash. So what we can do, let's go ahead and get rid of our yellow box. Let's take it and weld it together. And look at that. It reduced a lot of the trash. Now there's only like three little pieces of trash, which we can deal with. So let's uh, left click, right click. Now we're going to have to go to object and break the curve apart for us to do this. And then by doing that, I can click on that little part and delete it and click on that little part and delete it and click on that little part and delete it. And I think there's something wrong with the nose. This might be a little bit more for the shape tool. Now, that's pretty much ready to go, but I would seriously look at it. If we select it all and then go sit, it's not too bad. There's 103 nodes. Um, it's all in these little things. And you need to look at stuff like that, on a, especially on a plasma cutter. Uh, that is going to mess you up right there. So we could actually probably take those and delete it. That's actually one curve. So let's take the uh, virtual segment delete key and try to delete right through there. And we got two curves now. Now we got broken nodes. So let's, uh, let's just select, let me get rid of this Docker. Go up to Windows, Dockers, Join Curves, and then hit Apply. Well, I need to select them. You see what it did? It, it joined those two curves. Now it's one complete circle. So now you can kind of move those out and you could actually probably delete that node and delete that node to make a, because in plasma cutting, you want more rounded items and that would be too hot for the torch. Um, there's a couple other bad spots. I call these whoop de doos and just delete one of them. You still got a good, perfect circle. And that's what you're going to want to do. And just kind of look over the whole thing before you cut it. Because uh, this right here would be pretty de detrimental. See, these are two different objects. And see, there's like a little whoop de doo let's get rid of. And then I'd go over the whole thing and look at it. I mean, it's, it's a nice file. I might even try cutting it out one day. Get all your square ones and just get out of the way. Now, once we've got them all, and I think we pretty much do, let's take the, uh, I saw one kind of rough spot right there. If you have X7 or above, you have the smoothing tool. Let's make it like half an inch big. And let's grab that. If you grab it, see, I'm getting rid of that, those extra nodes. Just go through there and just kind of clean it up. And then you're reducing nodes. Uh, so you've got to click on it. If nothing happens, it's because you haven't clicked on it. Now, plasma cutting is much more different than laser cutting. This is really a too fine of a crack. 
so you could move that up. And actually, let's see what happens when we delete that. Take that and then make this bigger. See, we got them crossways now. Let's go this way. Put this back. Grab this handle. Just make it. And I'd still get rid of, you know, some of these nodes. and See, we can't get some rounder. I didn't think that was going to work. We go back to the smoothing tool. Click on it and just kind of smooth that out. Uh, you'll be a lot better off on plasma cutting to have not quite as sharp of a turn. And then you can always go back to the shape tool and actually move this down a little bit. Move this down a little bit. I might even do that before I got the smoothing tool. This would be a, a good one to use a hotkey on it. Make one for the smoothing tool so you can just go with it. And you know, like a triangle. You know, triangle is really in Mother Nature. But just go over the whole thing. You know, the tail could the tail could be like that. And I'm not telling him what to do. I'm just giving him some trains of thought. That looks pretty good. Uh, and then just kind of look for extra nodes. I mean, look at the there's nodes right there. We can delete them. Now, I wish, you know, let's fix this. I wish I would have remembered. I think there was only like, see how I'm making that? But there's actually a, a hidden object right there. Grab your shape tool. Yep. Then to delete it. So just kind of make sure it's all clean all the way around. Now, I don't remember how many nodes there was. But let's try it. So select it all, then hit it with the shape tool. We've got 101. I don't know. I can't remember how many there was. Um, but just, you know, spread some things out. And it all depends also on how big this is. You know, if it's 18 inches across, then, then some of this stuff would work. You know, like this is pretty jagged, but that makes up his eye. And then at this time, I would take my smoothing tool and maybe make it 0.2 inches so you won't interfere with anything else. And it shouldn't interfere as long because you've got it, got it, uh, you've got to click on it to move it. Pretty good turtle. I like it. I think I might even cut it out someday. Anyway, I hope that helped him. And then, good thing about it, see how little it is now. You could take this and make sure you group it all and enlarge it. And then just make sure it's a, a hairline and you're good to go. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.